Hello and welcome back to FTP Beyond. I'm Wicca from Honey Bunny Games and let's get into this thing. So in the last episode I was messing around with the miner, which is I hope mining in the, the other dimension. Well actually he's not mining because yeah the batteries are here, the other battery is probably depleted so yeah he's not mining but you can see I've been working on something because my inventory is a mess so yeah I don't need this tree thing here uh okay I'm also gonna start smelting some of the guys actually both of them there we go like this uh okay now I've got some stuff here so I'm gonna place the generator two electronic circuits uh polarized coal which I think goes like this and the glass there we go solar panel I got three solar panels and also I will need maybe possibly one or more cables so let me get a few more cables I got this guy uh, it's gonna be like this also don't need this anymore or the polarized coal and the rubber okay I'm gonna need the rubber three tap not right now and I will take electric wrench with me because reasons and I'm just gonna make it like this. There we go. Insulated copper cable. And let's get to our mining dimension. Okay, I'm back. You can see my death marker here, which I should probably remove. So there we go. I'm next to our little miner, which is very probably out of energy. He got some iron and tin. That is okay. But I will do this. So just gonna take care of it like that okay now i'm gonna place where should i place the solar panels I'm gonna do it like this there we go these guys are generating like one uh eu per tick which should be just enough for this guy to work now oh well, maybe a bit uh Oh, it's night time. It's night time. Okay, let me go to bed. I don't like the smoke I'm seeing. Oh, that's a torch. Wait, what? But I just went to bed. Oh, you cannot sleep in this dimension? Okay, maybe I have to go back to sleep in my, my dimension. So I'm gonna check that in a secondary no. Okay, it's beautiful morning, so let's go back to the mining world and let's check if everything is working fine now. Hello, spider. Where's the... there it is. Should probably be left a little bit closer, but anyway, let's, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's kind of working faster-ish a bit, but not fast enough. I think I'm missing maybe like one more solar panel. But the point is, now this guy can run on its own, mostly. And also something else, you cannot uh, jump through this. Yeah, you cannot jump through this thing. Oh man, th that sound is so irritating. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to invest in more solar panels, but right now, I'm just gonna leave him be. It's not super efficient, but at least it can run on its own, kinda. Yeah, it can run on its own. I think that's pretty okay. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. I'm just placing the items uh, back to their respective places. Because my storage thing is still not functional. I'm missing materials to go 64k. I, 1k is kind of not enough if you ask me. This is Honey Bunny Games. We go, we go full or we don't go at all. But anyway, um... Yeah, you know, I don't need that in my inventory. Uh, bow, where the hell did I get a bow? Okay, there we go. Just gonna get rid of this, guys. And then there's something else I'd like to, well, upgrade. Let's call it like that. Let's upgrade it, yeah. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna place charcoal in this guy. And now, uh, since this is kind of a, my botania setup here, I want to move this guys here to this thing I believe I want to do that actually you know what no 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 let's uh let's mark a path first it's gonna be like for my moving around purposes uh yeah this is kind of awkward uh oh I got a worm okay that's uh that's okay I guess 
gonna make it like this. And also, this will be like that. There we go. Yeah, that's gonna be okay. And that's gonna go all the way there. Around the form. And I'm not gonna go all the way right now. Just marking out the layout. So this is gonna be on the both sides. Yeah, I think that's gonna look okay. I think that's gonna look just fine. Uh, okay, I need a torch here. Oopsie, what did the game... No. Uh, oh! You can double click with a shovel to kind of... Oh, that's that's nifty. There we go. Uh, yeah, this is this looks awkward here. I'm uh, just gonna go like this. Yeah, this looks freaking awkward. Ah, why did this have to mess up? Uh, it would be a lot better if it was like this. Yeah, that would be a lot better. But right now, well, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. So I'm gonna loan this, guys. Okay, so that's the setup for... That's the layout on the setup. Uh, w guy. Also, yeah, okay. So that's probably gonna go left and right or something so Batania is definitely gonna be here that is something that's kind of uh, obvious so the forms I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna leave it like that for now because I probably want to improve that and I'll probably want more space around it so let's say it's gonna be like this see not like that um, yeah there we go yeah Okay, okay, so this is kind of the layout I want. Uh, not sure what's gonna go here, but something probably will go in this area. So going straight there, this is the Botania setup, and that's exactly where I'm gonna have these guys. Could actually have them. See, no, no, I could have them here. This like thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna remove that. Place it like this. Or maybe closer to the edge. Uh, I want the chest closer to the edge. I'm I'm just more complicating right now. Also, chest. Is there a way to move the chest? There is a wooden chest transporter. I'm gonna use that. It's a one-time use and that's perfect because I don't want to clog my inventory. And what the hell is with the... Uh, yeah, okay. This is uh, weird. Oh, I think that's because of the Tinkus Constructs thingy. Um, can I turn it back to... No, I cannot. What if I use the normal crafting table? Will that also happen? Okay, so the Tinkus Construct... That's not the first time I encountered this thing. Uh, the Tinkus Construct crafting station is kind of... Uh, buggy. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you get the, like, weight thing debuff something. I uh, also have to remove the drawers and for that I'm gonna need a packing tape. Packing tape is something I used in the Sky Factory when I was moving my stuff. I need a slime ball. Mm, well, I could get the slime balls from here, but I... Rice! Oh! Rice slime ball! Oh, that's exactly the thing I did in, um, in the uh, Sky Factory as well. So, four rice dough and a water bucket. Do I have any rice though? Rice, I have rice. Uh, I think three of them is... I'm gonna take a bunch. Oh, there we go. Got four rice dough. Uh, I'm gonna need my bucket. Where's my bucket? I'm down to one bucket. I used bucket somewhere, I forgot. What is that I used it for? Okay, just gonna make the rice uh, thingy. Rice uh, slime ball, whatever it's called. Rice slime ball, yeah, that's exactly how it's called. And I'm gonna need some paper. I have some paper in there, but let's use these guys. Okay, okay, that's good. That is good. I need four, if I remember correctly. Okay, the worm, the worm. What am I gonna do with the worm? I could just, like, you know, plant him here. Okay, we already have one. Second one. Oh. You know what? I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. Just gonna place him into the 
farming chest. There we go. Uh, okay, so yeah, the paper. I need the paper. I, need, I get three papers. Uh, okay. Oh, extra. I needed only three. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, no, no. Doing. Uh, okay. So now. There we go. And I'm just gonna take them. That was the top one. Okay. That was the bottom one. I'm not sure why I kind of want to keep it the same as it was, but obviously I do. Okay, that's the... Okay, first this one, then the other. There we... No, didn't want that. Okay, I'm just gonna do this, because I don't know how to remove the, the tape. There we go. Uh, also, this little little pretty flower that is used for thingies is gonna go somewhere. Where should I place the flower? Um, I'm gonna place them actually here. Why not? Oh, that's not a flower. That's an axe. I think this should be fine. Yeah, I can surround it in here. That is okay. And why did I mess with the Batania right now? Because I kind of want to go back into it. Back before... When I was starting to mess with the Batania, I think that was the first mod I was messing with. I said I'm gonna go back to it later in the series, and I think this is just a beautiful time to do that. So I'm gonna take the slime ball. I'm gonna keep the slime ball actually here. Uh, okay, so Botania. Uh, Botania, Botania, Botania. I'm gonna need my wand. I'm gonna need my Alexica. Oh, Petal, Apothecary, and Runic Altar. Okay, I'm gonna need Apothecary, I guess here which means i'm well yeah uh didn't want that okay you know what guys take them take those charcoal um i'm gonna need that water source somewhere um <laughs> and i cannot use this one because of the thing i could have like a tank coming from the oh that's a water tank um, maybe I could use that. Uh, wait, can I use any kind of planks to do that? Can I use any kind of planks to do that? Let's see. Oh, that's a water tank. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. What did I pick up? Oh, uh, the charcoal again. Uh, okay, just burn it, please. I could have, like, this thing here. My god! Okay, there you go. Got it already. Uh, I have the pressurized fluid thing, pipes. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of too far away. I'm overcomplicating again. Um, so I'm just gonna actually get rid of the water tank and do the infant water source like normal same person would. I'm gonna do that here. Yeah, that seems like a good good spot. Now let me get some water going. And here, and... Okay, and here. There we go, that is fine. I got the infant water source. I got the petal apothecary. Um... Now, actually, you know what? This flower is bugging me. I'm gonna move him closer to the... Here, like this. Or actually, I could go like this. Ah, freaking charcoal, man. Ah. Okay, uh, yeah, this thing is gonna be buggy for now. Uh, I mean buggy. It's not gonna be buggy, it's just because my thing will pick it up. I'm gonna feed him more charcoal, so when I pick some up, it goes into my stack, not a new one. Okay, uh, let's get back to Lexica Botania. Uh, because one of the things I want to do is get a better pickaxe. Which is Terra Shutter, which is... Yeah, 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 something, something, something. Um, okay, how do you make it? You make it by combining Mana Tablet with Terra Steel Ingots. Mana Tablet is... How do you make Mana Tablet? By Living Rock and Mana Diamond. How do you get a Mana Pearl? Oh, Ender Pearl. Oh, actually I could do that because I have way more Ender Pearls than Diamonds. So, yeah, let me go get a stack of Ender Pearls from our little farm we made. 
And where's that? It's here. It doesn't have its own chest though. Well, never mind. Crate, not chest. Well, same thing. Um. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna place all but one inside. Oh, I do have some living rock. Uh, nonetheless, I'm gonna make some more. And for that, I will need some stone. Stone, stone, stone should be. Yep, got some stone. Okay, stones is there. We go, and just surround it. This little fella with it. See, yeah, that was a mistake. Oh well, never mind. I'm gonna do it like this. There we go. Uh, what was I going to make? I was going to make the mana pearl. So I do it like this. Maybe not. There we go, mana pearl. Uh, can I like right click with it to teleport? Not anymore. I mean, that's obvious. Uh, let's see now. Uh, mana tablet. Okay, gonna make that. Oh, did I just heard? Oh, never mind. So, living wood twig uh, is something that you make how? By two, buying two living wood. Okay, got some living wood. Gonna take that. And Terra Steel Ingot. Now, that's something I need the Ironic Altar for. Is that? No, that's the. What? Terra Steel. There's a living rock. The plate. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Terra Steel. Steel. Let's. Uh, Let's go back to index. Um, mystical items, lexicon, mana steel, mana steel, overgrowth seed, chronic altar, portal to blah 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 blah. Uh, okay, gross crops turn A into B. That's like a cooling exchange. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, is that alphabetical? Yes, that's alphabetical. So. Uh, Terra Steel. There we go. Uh, okay, so one requires ter terrestrial agglomeration plate. Okay, that is lapis lazuli block with block of mana steel. Oh, with runes. Okay, so I'm gonna need runic altar first. Um, uh, and what is that? Oh, lapis lazuli. Okay. Uh, and living rock. Okay. Um, okay, so runic altar. We're gonna need the runic altar first. So, where is the runic altar? No, 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 no. Um, how do you make the runic altar? Where is that? Okay, I know there's mana from food. Yeah, this guy requires runes. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Runes, runes, runes. Uh, shift click to see the recipe. Okay, so the runic altar is something I already have. Okay, mana blah blah blah. Read through the important entries on section. Okay, uh, where's the runic altar? Step by play. We uh, okay, by right click or simply tossing the components of the rune you want to create, proceed by pointing mana spread to the altar so the mana transfer can occur. It should be apparent when the altar has received enough mana. Okay. Just drop or right click a piece of limb rock. Uh, and then use the wand on it to collect your rune. Okay. Okay, okay. So I think I got this. Um, already have the runic altar, right? I'm just gonna place him I mean I could place it like here like maybe actually uh place another of these guys mana spreaders how do you make a mana spreader mana spreader pulse mana spreader nah. mana spreader is any petal with gold ingot and six living wood so I'm gonna need the golden ingot and then I can get into this thing okay I got him another mana spreader so I'm just gonna place them Ah, uh, where should I place him? I mean, I want the altar, the altar like, hmm, and place it here and place the altar here. Uh, uh, 
Okay, so I cannot... Uh... Hmm, how do I extract from mana pool? Okay, Lexica, help me out. How do I extract from mana pool? Uh, mana manipulation, mana spreader. Um, <laughs> by holding shift right click, one can where it was clicked, it can be pointed. Okay. Okay, mana spreader, mana pool. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Not that the block needs to be right click with a wand. Okay. Uh, okay, that's not like that. Uh, let's see, mana pool. Mana can be inserted into it by using an any adjacent will pull. Okay. Any adjacent will pull out. Okay, so that means maybe he's not adjacent enough. Just let's try placing him here. Okay, okay, yeah, he's he's full. He is full and maybe I should use the pulse thing to but you know what I'm just gonna um just gonna use this. Go. Okay now that's causing a backlog. Uh this should back into the mana pool until I get everything sorted. So yeah, now let's see where I was at. I wanted to make uh, something. I want to make a flower, but anyway, I have to. Yeah, let's make a food eating flower. So, generating flora, that's a gourmet mirrorless. Um, and for that, I'm gonna need some petals, which I will probably have. I got. I need rune of summer and of fire. Let's see. Rune of fire is. Nether wart, mana powder, mana still ingot, nether break, and gunpowder. Oh uh, my god. God, I don't have an Ender Wars for Sardis, so holy smokes, holy smokes. Okay, so I basically got nothing. I basically got nothing. Um, let's actually see Terra Steel, Terra Steel, Terra Steel, Terra Steel. For that, I'm gonna need Rune of Fire. Yeah, okay, Rune of Air. Okay, so I need a lot of things. I need a lot of things. A Rune of Mana. Oh, that's easy enough. Rune of Earth. Let's make a Rune of Mana. That's five. These guys and one pearl, so I can easily get that. I already have one pearl. I do not have any Arnigas here, so let me get five of those. And yeah, that should be that should be easy enough, right? Then off camera, I'm probably gonna go into the Nether to get some warts and uh, whatnot. Right now, let's do this. There we go. That was quick enough. Um, let's see how it was it? One, two, three, four, five, and this guy. Two. Come on, pick you up. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna use this on this. Oh, you can like see the rune uh, circling out. Okay, that that's good, delicious. I like that. I like it. I'm gonna go to bed because it's getting night outside. Good nighty. Getting dark outside, not night night outside. What am I talking about? Anyway, we're almost gonna get her first rune. She's gonna be rune of mana. Oh, come on, baby, come on. Okay, let's see. Rune of earth. I could probably get that as well. Okay, now I need to toss the living rock. Okay. No. And right click with the wand. There we go. That's that looked awesome. Hope you're not actually not let's just aim you back into here. Okay, so we got our first rune of mana. Okay, okay, band of aura. What does this thing do? Let's see. Um. Mm. Oh, instead of storing it slowly, what? Creates it and stores it into mana containing. Ah, that's cool. Okay, what else can this guy be used to? Botanical brewery. I don't want to get into that yet. But yeah, we need terrestrial. Uh, terrestrial. 
terrestrial uh, agglomeration plate and yeah for that for the rest of the rooms i'm probably gonna do it off camera because for some of them i have to go to the nether and that's not something i'm gonna do now because i'm already kind of tight on time but yeah in the next episode i hope i'm gonna be messing around with the uh what is it called but then yeah a little bit more but until then this is gonna be it for this episode so thank you guys for watching please subscribe leave a comment like the video and see you next time